The other thing to keep in mind is that whenever we get a lot of rain after planting, uh, either before emergence or even after emergence, that can lead to heavier seedling disease pressure. Uh, often that's going to occur in cool, wet conditions um, after planting. However, even in warmer and wet conditions, it, it also can happen there as well. So many times these symptoms or this situation will be concentrated in our in our wetter, lower areas of the fields, and it'll be kind of kind of obvious that we've got some issues there. However, sometimes it can be randomly scattered across the field as well. So in this example here, we've got a, a, a plant that's uh, that's died uh, in between a couple healthy plants. And that's an example of what we call post-emergence damping off where this plant was attacked by some seedling diseases and, uh, and was killed by those seedling diseases, probably from some heavier uh, disease pressure and maybe a certain microenvironment right around this plant that did not affect its neighboring plants on each side. Seedling diseases can also attack seeds themselves, causing those seeds to rot. And, and also very, very commonly, these seedling diseases will attack our roots and our mesocotyl. So uh, in this example here, you know, it looks like we had probably some soil saturation at about this level out there within the field. And uh, any tissue kind of below that water line it looks like it was attacked pretty heavily, uh, potentially by pythium or other uh, species of seedling diseases. Plants like this may survive. Um, this type of experience. However, they are going to be stunted and set back. So when that is the case, that can lead to some uneven crop development, different growth stages within that corn uh, down, you know, down the row or, or across the field. So that's something that we need to keep in mind uh, for management decisions down the road or, or why we might see some of this unevenness within the corn crop down the road. Luckily, uh, we have seed treatments at our disposal that have a lot of different fungicides out there to help us prevent seedling diseases. Without these fungicidal seed treatments, um, they would likely be a lot worse and something that we would experience quite a bit more. So within the Pioneer lineup, uh, we've got some different seed treatment packages, but for the most part, we've got six different fungicide ingredients that are used within corn, and those six different um, active ingredients really do help prevent seedling diseases, uh, which is why, you know, we don't really see it nearly as much as we did, you know, 10, 20, 30 years ago before fungicidal seed treatments were common out there in the market. Now, all that being said, you know, if we have heavy pressure or if we have extended periods of, of conditions that are uh, good for seedling diseases to do their thing, those seed treatments can be overwhelmed and we can see, uh, see the, the symptomology and the results um, when that is the case. Just like with corn, um, you know, our, our fungicidal seed treatments and soybeans also can be uh, a great way for us to reduce our risk and to protect our stands when seed, seedling diseases can re rear up and, and show, their, show what they can do. So uh, Phytophthora, Pythium, Fusarium, and Rhizoctonia, those are the four most common seedling diseases within soybeans. And we have seed treatments that help protect against all four of these these different um, pathogens. So one newer seed treatment within the Pioneer PPST seed treatment li lineup is called Lumacina. Lumacina provides uh, next level protection against Phytophthora root and stem rot within soybeans, which occurs more in our wetter and uh, more moderate to warmer type soils. So with some of the warm conditions we had last week and some of that rainfall for any beans that were planted ahead of that rain, Actually, we might have some heavier, uh, heavier phytophthora pressure just based on the, the temperature and soil conditions. So Lumacina should help provide uh, a little bit more protection against phytophthora in those situations. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Pioneer for more agronomy insights.